And good evening from the Oklahomans Video Studio. I'm Dave Morris, happy to be joined by Estela Hernandez, Vice Chair for the State Republican Party. Uh, Estela, thanks so much for stopping in today. I was so glad to be here. It was day one of the Southern Republican Leadership Conference right across the street at the Cox Convention Center. And the place was buzzing, right? It was. It was quite exciting. It was uh, quite the day. Uh, you should have seen the faces of uh, individuals who were present, uh, very excited and uh, energized and ready for, uh, for a great day tomorrow. Well, we're going to talk about today and what you heard. I huddled up with the reporters here at the Oklahoma and what we heard from the th three key speakers, and I'm talking about Governor Scott Walker, Senator Rick Santorum, and Governor Rick Perry. Uh, they were among the speakers today, foreign policy. And it seems like all three of them received their strongest reception from those in attendance when they spoke about foreign policy. There were a couple standing ovations. To me, I was just in Israel about a week ago, and, and it's amazing. We met not only with Netanyahu, but we met with political leaders across the spectrum, and to a person. To a person, they are distraught about this Iran deal. And they feel like they don't have an ally in the United States, at least not in the present United States anymore. Well, I gotta tell you, once and for all, we need going forward a commander in chief in this country who will tell it like it is and lay out that radical Islamic terrorism is a threat to us all and we're gonna do something to stop it. Is that what you heard today? And do you think foreign policy could be the topic? Foreign policy is a very strong topic, and it's definitely something that Oklahomans and the nation want to hear more on and what they have to offer going into 2016. Uh, yes, uh, when it comes to our Rick Santorum, he definitely spoke about the importance of securing our borders, but making sure that we do not have an, an attack on the U.S. before uh, strategizing and actually have it, strengthening our military. So that was very strong for him. Four well, years ago, we never even talked about national security in the 2012 race. Remember, the war was over. Bin Laden was dead. Everything was fine. We just pulled our troops out. But now it is front and center, and it's so important for us. All three of them seem to hammer the Obama administration, and of course he's towards the end of his, or getting towards the end of his term, about his foreign policy. We heard that quite a bit today. Yes, yes indeed. And of course we had Governor Rick Perry, who, uh, who also spoke uh, very strongly against the policy President Obama is doing, and of course saying that, you know, if the federal government is not up to securing our borders, Texas is ready to secure the borders. So, uh, so immigration is definitely going to be another key issue that, uh, that the presidents will, or candidates will have to speak on. We deployed our law enforcement. We deployed our parks and wildlife wardens literally in the river. We deployed our National Guard as a force multiplier. And you knew what the result was going to be. I knew what the result was going to be. We had a 74% decrease in apprehensions in that region of the border because we were securing that border. It's time for Washington to do their job and secure our border. Now looking ahead to tomorrow, what are you excited to hear? I'm looking forward to see uh, exactly what uh, these candidates will have to say. Uh, tomorrow we'll have Governor Chris Christie. Uh, we will also have uh, Governor Jeb Bush and our very own Senator James Lankford will be in attendance. I believe tomorrow night is the gala. Ted Cruz will be speaking. Uh, Marco Rubio tomorrow as well, right? Is correct. That correct. And we will be having, of course, he will be our keynote speaker, Ted Cruz, uh, tomorrow night. So we're looking forward to seeing what, uh, what his plan is as well. Who did you, uh, and let's, let's just take this at a granular level. I mentioned you were the uh, vice chair for the state Republican Party, but who did you talk with today? Today, you know, we uh, definitely had the opportunity to, uh, to hear the heart of many of, of the candidates. I uh, spoke with uh, Scott Walker, and mm -hmm. he definitely has a vision, a clear vision, as to where he wants to take our, our country and the direction. And all, all these candidates, they truly are energized and, and ready to lead, prepared to lead. You mentioned Governor Scott Walker. Earlier today, we had uh, Labor Commissioner Mark Costello. He was in talking with our Owen Canfield. He was very impressed with Scott Walker. He, mm -hmm. uh, he, he thought that Scott Walker will eventually get the Republican nomination. In words of Fred Harris, there's going to be a winnowing process. Sure. And I think that winnowing process will lead us to Bush, to Rubio and Scott Walker, and I think Scott Walker has seems to have very cross appeal to all sorts of Republicans, and I think he'll be the last man standing. Wow, I heard it here first. Let me what ask was the impression you got from Governor Walker? You know, he's, he's a very strong candidate, but we have a list of uh, so many 
oh, almost a dozen uh, potential candidates. And I feel that at this point, it's kind of hard to, to make a call on that because we still have yet to hear uh, from Ben Carson, uh, Carly Fiorina, and many others. Uh, Carly Fiorina actually uh, will be having a breakfast on Saturday morning. So I think that there are very strong candidates and it's important to, to hear all of them out before we actually make that decision. Very true, and that's part of the part of the process, right? Exactly. You mentioned those speakers. All the speakers today, you can find those videos online at newsok.com. We did stream it live. We will do so tomorrow as well, the speakers that we mentioned. If you had a chance to talk to Boone Pickens and wish him a happy birthday, what would you tell him? Oh, wow. I would have to say thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for what you've done uh, in the state of Oklahoma. He's such an iconic figure uh, that has made such a difference, and just looking forward to it. That'll be fun as well. Yes. His birthday bash is tomorrow. Stella Hernandez, thanks so much for stopping Thank by. You. We appreciate it. Again, as I mentioned, she's the vice chair for the state Republican Party, and uh, we certainly appreciate her time. Again, the videos can be found online at newsok.com and a whole lot of other coverage. We had a lot of reporters across the street today. It can be found online and in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman.